Alrighty, this time I want to take a look at three knives from Frost Cutlery. And I'm um, sorry for the glare here. So the Scorpion Sting, the Serpent, and Wild Fang. Here they are. And I'm just going to start with the first here, Wild Fang. As you can see, partially serrated. Has this uh, wolf emblem on here, which is pretty cool actually. So in uh, black and red. The handle scales, I'm not quite sure what they are. Uh, most likely not G10 at that price range, although they do feel sort of similar. So uh, have this fine texturing here, which makes it nice and grippy. Handle scales do feel pretty good, actually. Um, the belt clip has a good stiffness to it and can be reversed, which is really nice. Don't see that very often on uh, cheaper knives. So you can have it in three different positions. Definitely kind of neat. It's a liner lock. Uh, again, something that I like. The liner has no jimping or serrations or whatever. It's uh, definitely more comfortable to use. And the, um, the pivot is extremely smooth. Very nice. It has only very little resistance and it's definitely smooth. Almost as smooth as some of the CRKT knives that I've reviewed. So definitely pleasant to open. The uh, blade itself is, as you can see, has kind of a nice shape to it. Not uh, overly unusual but interesting hollow grind here. The serrations seem to be well done. And the sharpness is oh, definitely impressive. It's not uh, hair shaving sharp, but it, come, it does come quite sharp out of the box. Uh, also has chimping right here, which is useful. And uh, yeah, it's definitely comfortable in the hand. Uh, for my personal taste, I don't know, it could be larger. But uh, if you prefer smaller, lighter knives, this might be definitely interesting. It's uh, it seems really light in the hand, and um, it's relatively slim profile, as you can see. So, not bulky at all. Lockup is tight and secure. So, no issues there. Pivot can also be adjusted, although why you would want to is beyond me, since it's definitely very nice as it is. Alright, let's move on to the second one. Maybe move this out of the way. This is the Serpent. Definitely similar in design. The handle scales are the same material and the same texturing. Belt clip has a different design but about the same stiffness. On this knife, oddly enough, it, the, the position cannot be changed, which I don't know why they didn't do it on this one. It's kind of a shame. It also has a liner lock. This one unfortunately does have uh, the jimping, or maybe fortunately, depending on what you prefer, but I'm not too partial to that, so I don't think it's as comfortable as the other one. But uh, the pivot is actually even more comfortable, uh, even smoother on this one than on the other. Uh, I mean, keep, keep in mind that these may be uh, differences in individual knives, they may come from the factory, 
with a different uh, grades of smoothness so I'm not sure if uh, this just varies from piece to piece or if it varies, var varies from model to model I don't know that for sure again solid lockup no problems there it has no jimping here strangely I don't know why but um, the uh, finger cutout here is comfortable enough and prevents your fingers from sliding up it also has a hollow grind which again looks quite interesting because of this uh, almost false edge here the, I personally like the blade shape on this one and uh, the thumb studs, which I haven't mentioned before, are quite large and uh, comfortable to use. Again, not fancy in, in any way, but definitely effective. And uh, this one, because of the scale pattern here, it has definitely even more grippiness than the other. It's uh, quite secure in the hand. No problems there. And let's move on to the final one, the uh, Scorpion Sting. As you can see here, the uh, tribal style Scorpion logo on there, which is kind of neat, even though I'm not too fond of Scorpions, not at all, but um, no offense to those who like them, <laughs> for whatever reason. And does have rather aggressive jimping up here which uh, combined with uh, the flaring of of the blade widening there it's uh, it's the most secure of the three as far as preventing your fingers from sliding up is concerned so that's a plus other than that, handle scales, again, same material, and uh, as usual, I'm going to post uh, specifications in the description. The liner does have jimping here, which, again, not all that comfortable. The pivot is comparable to the first one, the Wild Fang. So, uh, it's not as super butter smooth as the the uh, serpent but uh, definitely smooth enough very easy to operate and the blade shape I'd say I have to prefer this one out of the three very nice blade shape again this nice grind here and I think it's um, this widening here with this tip makes it very attractive in my eyes at least and uh, the grip is also pretty interesting because of this shape right here and definitely comfortable in the hand no complaints there whatsoever lock up again very solid no detectable blade play so yeah overall They seem pretty interesting, especially at that budget price range. You can probably not expect miracles from the from the steel, but again, what do you expect for the price? And uh, as far as handling is concerned, and the design of the the overall shape and the and the handle is uh, effective and comfortable. Some odd choices, like I mentioned, uh, no serrations here, and this is the only one where you can actually change the position of the belt clip, which I don't understand. Why aren't they consistent? Why didn't they do it on the others too? I don't see any reason against it, but that's the choice they made, and um, yeah, that's how it is. So... Hopefully this review was helpful and I uh, gotta get back to work now.